that maybe you don't think is the best, but you like it the best, pick one of three. You should have two, three to choose from, pick one of three. Either the one you think is the best, you could think about the one that you like the topic the best, one of the three. Okay, and then you can either put like, yeah. let's see, how do I wanna mark it? I kinda want y'all to mark it in your notebook. So if you have like some kind of maybe sticky note or if you have like maybe uh, you could tear off like a piece of paper or something, something to where like you could do this and mark it in your journal so you know where it is, okay? So like I'm gonna take a sticky note. So if you don't have a sticky note, then you could always just like tear a piece of paper. So look, you could also tear a piece of paper like this and do this. So then just so then when you close it, you know where it is. So you can open up to it really fast. So I just want you to find it and then mark it. So use a sticky note, tear a piece of paper, doesn't matter to me. Something that you can kind of make like a bookmark. You could even make a little square bookmark if you want to. Something that you know so you can open up to it really fast. Because you're going to have to refer back to this a lot. So I want to make sure you know, okay, this is where it is. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we are going to take this eye chart and we are going to turn it into an actual writing. Okay. Kind of how we're going to start to write our actual eye chart. So we're going to map out some pages in our journals because I want to make sure our pages stay together. So find your next set of clean pages, which this is why we marked our eye chart, okay? So you should have already marked your eye chart. You put a little sticky note, torn piece of paper. I don't have any sticky notes, so I, I do not know where my eye chart. Okay, Gabriel, find one of the three. You have three eye charts in your journal. Find one and then tear a piece of paper, even if it comes out of your journal, and mark it. Okay. Okay. Find one of your three eye charts and you're going to get a sticky note or a torn piece of paper. I don't care which one. And you're going to mark it. Awesome. Dristen marked his. Okay, I see Walter, he just did his, Holly's got hers, Tony's good, Grace is good, Bella's good, Miles says he's good, Raiden's got his going, Bianca's good, Mateen's good, Katia's good. All right, so we all have it marked. Okay. So now I want you to find the next set of clean pages in your journal, okay? Next set of clean pages. You're gonna need four, okay? Your next set of four clean pages. That's me, oh my gosh, mama. Your next set of four clean pages. And this is what's going to be a little different. So I know normally, well, y'all see me do it. I don't usually write front to back. I usually only write on the front of the page. I usually don't write on the back of another page. But we're going to write on the back of the page, okay? So I want y'all to watch what I'm going to do. You ready? Okay, I'm going to count. One, so this big space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to draw a line straight across both pages. Do you see that? So I counted 10 lines. And then I drew a line straight across both pages. So count 10 lines. And then draw a line straight across both pages. Well, Miss Chandler, what if your what if your page right before that 
that one, that clean page is already taken. Like mine, look, see, look, I have right here, but I already have writing here. Okay, well then Walter, do the next page. Okay. So you have a front to back. That's a good question. So if like your next clean page, if this one's taken, but this is your next clean page, go ahead and turn the page because I want you to have two pages kind of back to back. Okay, Michelle. Okay, so look, now you ready? You're gonna turn the page. So this is, let's number these real quick. One, two, So just like number them, one and two. Okay, number of one and two. And then you're gonna turn the page. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing. So count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Draw a line all the way across both pages. And then number them, three, and four. So for our first informational piece we're going to write, we're only going to need four pages. Once we start to write more informational pieces, we'll need more pages. But for right now, we're just going to do four. If you end up needing more pages, you can definitely use them. But for right now, we're just going to need number four. So you should have 10, you counted 10 lines, you have a line in the middle, and then you have pages one, two, three, four numbered. Okay, and then I want thumbs up when you're good and you've done this. So then I know we can move on. Thumbs up when you're good, you've done this, your pages are numbered, your lines are drawn, you're ready for me to explain to you what to do next. Okay, awesome, awesome. I see lots of people that are giving me thumbs. They said I'm done. Shouldn't take us too long to do. Yes, Kason. I don't think it's good King Solomon be able to hear you. Okay, well, Kason, you want to try and leave the meeting, come back and see if it's better? Yes. Okay. So you only need one two, three, four pages, right? So you only need four pages and then 10 lines. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I just want y'all to watch, okay? Just watch. So I have my eye chart, right? So the first thing I have is my topic sentence, okay? <clears throat> So this topic sentence is basically my introduction, okay? I'm gonna write a little bit more, but this is basically gonna be my introduction. So I'm gonna take this topic sentence and on page one, this is where, I like case in, this is where my introduction, okay? is going to go. This is gonna be my introduction. So my topic sentence is going to go on this page and it's gonna go first. So we are gonna start writing this like a paragraph. So can anybody tell me or take a guess as to what they think goes in front of a paragraph before you start writing? Dristen, what goes in front of a paragraph before you start writing? An indent. An indent. An indent is a little space, okay, that you're gonna put in front of your paragraph before you start writing it. It basically shows that you're starting a new topic. You're starting a new paragraph. You ready to make an indent? 
Take your thumb. Got it, everybody take your thumb. Take your thumb. Take that thumb, hold it up. You got it, ready? All right, thumb on a page. Thumb on a page. Okay. Are we supposed to write introduction and topic sentence? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, thumb on the page. Now look what I want you to do. So normally you're not gonna put this little dot, but for right now, I want you to put the dot because a lot of you probably don't remember what your topic sentence is. So I want you to put a little dot where your thumb is, okay? So that's where you're gonna start writing, where this little dot is. So you add your thumb and you put a dot. You put your thumb on the page and you put a dot. Your indigent might not be as big as mine because obviously my thumb is probably bigger. Which, which, oh. So put your thumb, put a little dot. Because a lot of us probably don't remember what our topic sentence is. So we're gonna have to go back and find it. Thumb, dot. That's gonna make your indention, okay? So normally you're not gonna put the dot. You just put your thumb down and start writing. But we're gonna put the dot just for right now because I know a lot of us probably don't remember what our topic sentence is. All right. Y'all ready? Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna read my topic sentence. So go back to your eye chart. Remember, we marked it. So go back to your eye chart. Read your topic sentence. Read your topic sentence. Read your topic sentence. And then we're gonna write our topic sentence directly as it is here by that dot. So mine says there are many different flavors of popcorn. So I'm gonna go back to my writing and I'm gonna start writing and I'm gonna even write over the dot. There are many different flavors. There are many different flavors of popcorn, okay? Does someone notice, what did I do right here? When I got to this red line on my notebook, I came back to the next red line. So I didn't start at the indention. So with your paragraph, you're going, after you make this indention, you start going red line to red line, red line to red line, red line to red line. Okay. So after you make your indention, you're coming back to the red line. After you make your indention, come back to this beautiful red line that's right here. And you're just writing your topic sentence, just that first topic sentence. That's all you're doing. Should be super easy. I forgot what a topic sentence a sentence. I forgot what a topic sentence is. Gabriel, did you ever find your eye chart? No. No. Okay. Well, Gabriel, come up with a topic that you're an expert on that you want to write about and then write a topic sentence, which is basically gonna be a central idea. So you're gonna tell me, what are you gonna talk about? Does that make sense? Okay, I know what I'm gonna talk about then. Okay. Holly, what don't you get that we're doing? Um, the thing where I have to put your thumb and like write a sentence there, I don't get it. So Holly, look, all you're gonna do is just put a, your thumb here and just start writing your topic sentence. So did you go back to your eye chart and find your topic sentence? Yes. Okay, so you know what your topic sentence is. Okay, so put your thumb on the paper and write your topic sentence. Did you do that? Mm, yes. Okay, you did that? Okay, 
So that's it. That's all you had to do. Yes, Bella, you can go to the bathroom. Okay, so we have about like three minutes left of writing because then we need to move on. We have about three minutes left of writing. So for the rest of your introduction page, so you're gonna have to have like two or three more sentences here. But before we write those two or three more sentences, for our top space up here, this is where we're gonna kinda come up with ideas of what we could put in our topic sentence. And I think y'all are gonna like this part. So how can you come up with ideas? Well, that's a great question. You have two options, okay? You can either, and I'm gonna draw a line, y'all don't have to do it this way. You can just pick one option, okay? But I'm gonna show you both. You only have to pick one, but I'm gonna show you both. You can either do a word bank, okay? Where you can come up with different words that you're gonna use. So maybe I'm gonna put different, I'm gonna put flavors, and I'm gonna say, well, okay, I have to talk about the movie theater butter. I have to talk about um, caramel corn, okay? And maybe I'm gonna write out some different ideas. So that's one option is the word bank. Your second option is to sketch. So you can either word bank or sketch. It's up to you. If you wanna do both, you are more than welcome, but you do not have to do both. So you are either gonna word bank or sketch. So, so for if you chose word bank and or sketch, do you have to do them now or do you, or is this, is this for tomorrow? Uh, I'm probably gonna give you a few minutes to do it now. Because okay. then I want us to be ready to continue writing the introduction tomorrow. Okay, so I may draw a little box of popcorn, right? Maybe I'll draw, um, maybe I'll draw like a movie. Since I'm gonna do movie theater butter, maybe I'll draw some popcorn. I'll draw it colored in a little bit. So maybe it looks like caramel corn. And then maybe I'll draw a smile because it kind of gets stuck in your teeth. Okay. So you're gonna draw different things that have to do with your topic sentence. So you can either draw different things that have to do with your topic sentence, or you can write words that have to do with your topic sentence. You don't have to do both. You can either draw things that have to do with your topic sentence, or you can write words that have to do with your topic sentence. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna give us five minutes to do this because then we do need to move on. But I'm gonna give you five minutes to work on this. We gotta do just a tiny bit of word study. Okay, but I'm gonna give you five minutes to work on this. So you're doing one or the other. <laughs> 